I have recently done the Pentester Academy Certified Enterprise Specialist Paces and this is my review. Hi everyone, this certification is based on Active Directory. It comes with a course and a lab which is fully patched. It doesn't contain any vulnerabilities that require exploits. All you have to do is focus on misconfigurations in all the steps during the lab. This is my third certification from Pentester Academy and by far the lab is the biggest and largest one. It contains several forests. I think it's maybe seven or eight forests and each one of them contains several servers. To be able to progress you need to exploit each one of those servers using various methods. The old ones that I learned from my previous certifications CRTP and CRTE. If you don't know what those are or if you want to have a review on them, check out the videos that I published previously. But yeah, um, this lab is definitely the most exhaustive, the biggest one. The CRTE bootcamp version, I guess, contains the same lab resources and techniques, but I didn't do the CRTE bootcamp version. The goal of the lab is to gain access to a file, a text file, that that contains a random code that is used to make a transfer. So the lab is about attacking a fictitious bank and um, the goal is to access that file to be able to do the transaction. Again, to be able to uh, progress through the lab you need both what you've learned during your previous certifications, um, such as domain enumeration, local privilege escalation, lateral movement, credential dumping, delegation, curb roasting, DC sync, those kind of stuff. But this lab adds new techniques which are found in let's say enterprise configurations. Um, things like just enough administration, PAM trusts and other things like PowerShell web access, labs, exchange misconfigurations, resource-based constraint delegation, and they go even further to Hyper-V environment where they have multiple virtual machines that you need to exploit. They are not directly reached, so you need to find ways to gain access to them by exploiting some misconfigured services. So from that perspective, I find that it's quite rich and I found it really interesting. The course content comes with a set of videos that explain the new techniques, the new concepts that are required to master in this certification. The concepts that I talked about earlier, such as just enough administration, resource-based constraint delegation, exchange, servers, etc. The course also comes with a set of diagrams that give you a hint on how to proceed if you're stuck in a lab. They don't give you the details, just a scenario that you need to follow if you want to progress in the lab. Of course, if you need more hints, then you can contact the support. They react the same way as they do in the previous certifications. They are quite responsive, provided that you land on the working hours. So what I liked about this certification is the fact that the lab was really exhaustive and huge. And this uh, allowed me to exercise more on the enumeration side. I felt that I lack a certain experience or discipline in doing enumeration. So with five, with seven or eight forests, um, each time I had to redo the enumeration process and each time I made it better. So that was one of the key benefits of having multiple forests is to develop my enumeration skills. You access the lab either through a web access or VPN and they are both stable, which is something I really like in Ventester Academy lab environments. However, there are minor cons that I didn't appreciate 
when I went through the course and the certification. There's no dashboard that you can access to manage your progress. Um, it's not like CRTP or CRTE. You need to contact the support if you want to, to schedule the exam. So it's not like the previous certifications when you just had to click on a button and then you, you would start the exam whenever you want. And the same remark as in the previous certifications, which is the fact that the videos are not well cut. You might get maybe one minute of the instructor just trying something that doesn't work or not cutting certain boring intervals during the video, but that's not a big deal. However, one major drawback I found in this uh, course was the fact that it lacked the patching side. Why? Well, because the exam is weighted 50% attack and 50% defense or patch. And this makes a good transition to talk about the exam. Um, the exam is comprised of five servers, which are in scope, spread across two different forests, and the goal is to gain remote code execution on all of them, plus patching the vulnerabilities related to Active Directory. At the end, you'd have to write a report and send it to the support and wait for one business week to receive an answer. You have the first 48 hours to attack the system and then another 48 hours to write the report. One thing I noticed, which was kind of interesting, was the fact that I had access to the exam even after the 48 hour had gone. I sent them an email asking if this is just a mistake. I guess it's just because the lab is not yet automated, like in CRTE, where I had my lab cut off right after the 48 hours. So maybe this is something they should work on. Although there's 50% weight for patching the issues in the exam, I still found it very rewarding to kind of attack the system and then put yourself in the defense perspective and then patch those vulnerabilities and verify that you no longer reproduce the bugs. I think that was a unique experience in a given attack certification, which I really appreciate. So at the end, do you need this certification? Well, to be honest, if you've done the CRTE bootcamp version, I think it's enough for you. Most of the techniques and the lab size is quite the same, I guess. For those who've done the CRTE bootcamp version, please let me know in the comments if I'm right or not, because I think that it would be enough. You don't have to pursue the PACES certification. But for those of you who have not done that, um, then yeah, I think it's a good certification to pursue, especially that it has this patching side, which lacks the other certifications. I took the 60 days package, which gave me plenty to experiment with the lab in different ways while still taking some breaks, because sometimes it becomes really stressful with a full-time job, a YouTube channel and a lab on the same time. So there you have it, my review of the PACES certification. Open it to it. Just if administrate resource base gone quite, quite rich. Um, see, is enough.